Voicenet spelled. Um, it's got a new Renaissance elite uh, head. Uh, old timey thing. Not not the real old time, but um, whatever. It has new pegs on it, and these are um, Grovers, I think, if I remember right. And the um, um, the amber uh, peg heads came from uh, Bob Smacula in uh, West Virginia. He does all sorts of banjo work. Um, <clears throat> and then it also has a fairly new maple uh, rest there. Let me see if I can get a better visual on that one. Yeah, that was 50 bucks. It was pretty expensive. Um, it's got the usual issues with them. Um, I'm going to show you the back here. So that's a bird's eye maple. That's a pretty back. Very nice. Let's see. And of course the pear, pear wood head stock. Uh, ebony, ebony fingerboard of course. Um, <clears throat> it's got the usual uh, drawbacks to the um, uh, tension rod set up in the early 20s uh, banjos. It, uh, it could go out of tune after two or three sets uh, in an Irish session, for, for instance. Uh, but otherwise, a very, very nice mellow page tone. tuners come with it. Um, so I'm looking around $800. Uh, I think it's worth it. I know banjos go cheaply, but um, I don't need the money. So, interested, let me know. <laughs> 